It's February 19th, 2024. Um, I saw an episode of Star Trek Voyager that they put out there. Um, I think it originated in the year or was broadcast in the year 2000 um, around here. I don't know intellectually if I would have totally connected with it the way that I am right now. Um, outside, this is what the sunlight looks like. Again, it goes between you being able to see my face and then being able to can't even see outside the window. Um, so in like a starship, but like residential earth. Um, so the monetary system that I'm in, I've only ever been taught for the United States of America about general George Washington. He's the only general and he's also the first president just so arguments don't break out between administrations. Um, I only know of one. And then on the back, it says O-N-E, and it has in God we trust, which is the G-O-D. But again, the O-N-E and the G-O-D in a singularity conversation knows the what's what. Um, then at the front of Jackson, the back is the White House. And the flag that they use is some version of this, and they always use the bald-headed eagle. So with that being said, um, I've made a couple of videos about 48 states being between two oceans. Um, when I think about it without, like, again, I don't have a white privileged education um, in the sense of whatever and the whatever, whatever, whatever I have, whatever I have. Um, and... I'm concerned, um, not only about the sunlight and I'm trying to find how the educated and the privileged who grew up in America, like what they're saying, what they were taught. Um, cause there's other things that I'm concerned about. One is this respectful conversation, um, at one level. I, that to me seems like a conversation about 50 states. If there's 50 or 51, like that's the Pacific side of the ocean. Um, in is there 50 states or is there 48? And I cannot verify. I only have one general George Washington at the moment. Um, that also seems to me like a naval conversation about over the oceans if they needed to have a ground metrics in order to protect and to um build court um which i think bread and circus goes off of but again i don't even really know what that means um so 48 states between two oceans in the G.O.D. and the O.N.E. And then that seems to be for merchant services, which used to be strictly like oceanography and then getting to ground area for distribution. Um, I don't know where or who's handling it. I don't know at what stage or where... Like, again, I'm watching Trump with gold sneakers and something called a Nikki Haley, and I don't know military arts. I don't know military choreography. I don't know what their campaigns are. I have no idea. Um, I have not participated in it. Um, and there's some real concerns at just simple level. Um, one is I made note this morning they're up to um, digital. Like when I arrived in 1978, it was mechanical watches. It was wrist watch. It was mechanical. It There was no satellite in near earth orbit in like neon time. There was no near earth orbit signaling to any kind of human tracking device. 
Um, I am very concerned with the lacks in international travel and domestic travel at the moment in the year 2024 with personal tracking devices on pretty much everybody's wrist, cell phones from I don't know what manufacturer, I don't know what computer program, I don't know what space program, I'm not sure. But I know that I have an ONE and a GOD and we're in trust. Um, so there is a responsibility there to speak to my one um, who epigenetics should, for my safety and the safety of my children for the future, should be congruent. Um, I'm not speaking on like e-commerce at the moment. I'm not speaking about ocean commerce, travel between different partitions um, or between different theaters. I'm strictly speaking from ground to what's going on for sunlight at near Earth orbit um, or ONE orbit near Earth, whatever the ONE stands for, because it also by oceanography standards could be Northeast and I'm by the East River. So um, I'm concerned about all of this foreign interest in traveling into the United States of America, which used to be, I thought, um, under lock and key. Uh, but now it seems for some reason, um, with whatever is going on, and I don't know what, that's why I'm at like strict standards. It's 48 states between two oceans, because I believe that's just my belief. If I think about it theoretically enough, um, to add Alaska and Hawaii seems like a Pacific water theater for merchant ships for their level of courtship. Um, but for land courtship, it seems 48 with defined borders in a clear uh, statehood into a country, because we're not just a territory, we're a country. Um, it seems important. And by adding in the conversation about 50, it seems to bring a layer of possible agitation that I'm not looking to even open that level of agitation with at the moment. Um, because I have not only, I have biological clock considerations as well as, um, like this different computer programmers from outside of the United States sending foot soldiers in and out. Um, and if they're interfering with for like it, the American military has, let's say in a theoretical for the in God, we trust just for this one conversation, the field of the 48 States secured as the American military force field. And then outside of the North American force field or hemisphere America. Um, and if they're sending alternate computer programmers and technology in and out of that force field, I'm concerned about timing mechanics and all sorts of stuff. I don't even want to speak on um, this episode of Star Trek Voyager Season six, episode 12, um, talks about time disparities, um, signaling issues, uh, talks about uh, weather. There's a whole lot of things that they talk about on here, um, which seem very important at securing children of the priory and whatever's going on, um, to protect and support America. So I'm going to uh, go back to one of the things that they show because it's not the level of education I was given, but I'm using the television as a theoretical, just as a conversation piece for my level of concern with my observation of where the sunlight is, what I perceive to be sunlight at the moment. Um, I watched something on Deep Space Nine they talk about a plasma field, but again, this is not my technical, like I don't have technical training other than this one TV piece. And with where I am inside this dimension, 
um, memory has been an itch issue, more very glitchy, and I'm not sure if that ties back into near Earth orbit. Um, so I'm just going to pause this for a second and go back to the beginning of this. For me, I'm looking for visual cues of what the the space program that I arrived to. Um, I think that they called it NASA. Um, and the first man that ever walked on the moon inside this General George Washington, first president in the space program and so on and so forth, um, they agreed was Neil Armstrong, although there was a man by the name of Gordon Cooper and there was another man by the name of John Glenn and there were four others but I cannot remember the other four um, because my memory is just not that clear or sharp, um, which again is cascading issues, which is why I need an O-N-E as a T-W-O um, who actually loves and cares for the Priory children. Um, and if they're having physiological damage or deterrence or complications, he knows how to write the book. Um, I heard Morgan Wallen um, speak on this about the bottle in the book. Um, that seems really important in a conversation between a one and a two, not to disrespect the me if it's a military exercise, but where do you get your diagnosis? Like, how do you ring a bell or for the, the, the respectable part of me in the, again, I don't know how they constructed it. I really, I don't. Um, yesterday in my physical realm, not on a digital media, um, there's this holographic image that they've give that one of my relatives gave me. And it shows the face just like that. And it makes a cube because it's the two different dimensions of walking the in-between in space and time kind of caught in between the here and the there um, and how to reference it, but yet keep yourself safe. Um, so this is what they theoretically, I guess, proposed that the space program was knew about. It's one planet that never showed up on the multiple choice exam. Its gravimetric readings are similar to that of a collapsed dwarf star. It also resembles a quasar in that it has a high rate of rotation, approximately 58 revolutions per minute. Shall we take... Now, in this theoretical, the spaceship or the space craft a voyager has multiracial, multi-ethnic um, crew. Um, I don't know if that is for uh, legal reasons. I don't know if that is part of compensatory. Um, later on, they go off the starship and they go down. Um, they well, they don't leave the starship, but they pan out to a theoretical like ground planet um, perspective, which is a much slower um, level of life form. They're working on what looks like some kind of um, spacecraft, which could be telephonics, could be like in my, now that I'm here, some kind of digital matrix or metrics that runs the like Bluetooth and the whatever. Um, but they use some words. I think it's probably one of the best pieces just in a one perspective. Um, but it raises a whole lot of concerns for where I am, what's happened to me, what, looks like is going on um
and just I'm It's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way Universe, Galaxies Broken. Oh, I'm gonna fast forward to one other um visual aid that they used. It could be what's holding us. Seven of nine to the bridge. Go ahead, seven. Please report to Astrometrics. There's something you must see. On my way to go to. This planet has a tachyon core. It's produced a subspace particle field which runs between the poles. Voyager's arrival disrupted that field. It looks like the ship's been caught in an eddy of some kind. It's worse than that. Voyager seems to have become the planet's third pole. The imbalance is affecting the outer crust. I've picked up indications of high frequency seismic activity. Caused by our. So that um, metric or that visual aid seems to be really important um they call it tachyon um they talk about a third pole i guess that would be like technically a neutral or an independent um So it's Nicole Cataruza, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken. Um, right now, it is really hard to hold thought. Um, I am not nearly um, as sharp as I used to be, as clear as I used to be. Um, putting together paperwork is almost impossible um it almost feels like if i speak of myself like a computer in some sort um and actually if i go back and i use this as a visual storyboard all right so if this is my person in the center which is the starship and then this is the energy field just outside of it and then I exist in some larger energy field. What it feels like at the moment is that my individual um, and my ability to receive my own astrological or whatever word they use for it, signal that goes to my cranial um, cere cerebellum or cerebrum, I'm having somewhere in here this frequency has changed at impulse. So it is almost like um, if I think of back in like the early 90s, because I really did not learn computers at all. Um, they had, if the machine started to slow down when it was like a tower and you had a, a, a connected mouse and like um, the computer companies had to color code the plugs for my level of non, not educated um, in that field of science. And it was like a big, it wasn't a flat screen back then. It was like a big box at the top. Um, and I really didn't know what you would use this machine for. I really never, like my father used to say filing and stuff. And I'm just like, I, I don't get it, but whatever. So um, back at that stage, when it would go slow, there would be a settings button that you would push and it looked like a circle, like a pie chart. And it had like pixels that were outside of the circle and you would push that visual reference and then it would tighten it up and make it back into the circle. They called it defragmentation process you were defragmenting your something drive i don't even know the technical aspects of it um and so that's kind of what it feels like at the moment is i'm trying to have a signal with myself my own energy field within my own residence like just inside this let's say blue zone but there's something, I don't know if it's coming from like the yellow zone in ED force. I don't know if it's a yellow zone 
interfering with my blue zone, which is then giving like the frequency. It is so hard to not only hold a thought, process a thought, to creatively like develop thought. It, I'm having a real hard time. And again, I don't know, is this part of like next level advanced modern warfare? I'm not educated at that level. I'm not part of like, I mean, the, it would seem that would be war crimes, but I don't know who or what is developing or even given theater space to open up that possibility for research and development. Um, that's what I'm really frightened of, but it is affecting my ability and capability as a 45 year old woman to even have like quality of life is affected. Um, so, and I, and I, it's some, it, cause sometimes there's headaches. Sometimes it's, you have thought like you're going and you get like, like I call it plugged in or like in the zone, I'm in the zone and I, everything's going great. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, you're not like something like this happens. And then it's like, no, you're not. And you get pulled out of the zone. Um, and I don't have like the correct medical training or words for it. I just know it exists. Um, I know how I can explain it. If I have a visual tool or reference, I just don't know what bell do you ring at church? Like, is it a siren? Is it a bell? Like, where are my church representatives? Um, so it's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Caterusa. But it feels like that defragmented, almost like really messy, like pixels. Um, but they're not coming together like a really clear thought process. Um, as much as I try to go on paper to do it, um, but that's like the feedback into the loop. Cause again, um, Lewis has me watching near death experiences at more of like, he wouldn't even watch this Star Trek episode. I asked him this morning, I said, listen, you made me watch near death experiences of people who, when they die, they go into the light. And when the world ends for me, it's pitch black. Like there's not even light, there's no stars, there's no anything. It's just darkness and we just exist out of, outside of time and space. I was like, so I don't know, like I watched that for you. I need you to just watch this for me to have one conversation. And he just, he, he just wouldn't. So um, I don't know what that's about. But um, so that's just kind of like a broader picture of what exactly is going on um, at the moment. I mean, um, my feet are in New York um, and that's the current. If I go to the bank, that's the flag on the hat and that's the monetary that's at the brick and mortar institutional banks for relationship management that still exist for the White House, for the government and that kind of thing. Um, And today's President's Day, uh, 2024, on the calendar. <laughs>